Hey up everybody, hope you're all alright. And here I am in Crown Point in sunny Leeds. I'm living the dream today, guys. I've just been and bought myself the most expensive sandwich in the world from Subway. It's the last time I ever got there. It was crap. It was like $7.99 for the littlest sandwich ever. But you got the tiniest bag of crisps with it as well, so you know, a meal deal and all that. But why am I in Leeds? I hear you ask. It's a weird one and I don't really know exactly why I'm here but what happened is a few weeks ago I put a video on and it was like my top 10 van life tips you might remember it 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 didn't get that many views so you're probably not seeing it but it were a van life tips video and I was talking in that video about not having enough space in back of my tiny van and I took my sideboard out impulsively and being a sort of being the Frank Spencer of DIY I've, I've I made a hate mess and I bodged it up. Anyway, this guy's emailed me and, he's, and he owns a motor home company, a, uh, like a camper van, I don't know, conversions or something like that. And he says, seen your videos, saw you in back at the van and all that. Uh, why don't you come through and see me because we might be able to help you out. Now, what I don't know what that means exactly. I mean, it could just be an elaborate sales pitch and I could go there and they might try and sell I don't know but he says to go and see but I thought it'd be interesting because I can have a look around the place as well because they convert motor homes so I'm going to meet him uh, and just see see what he's got to say so I'm heading there now <laughs> This is a little bit mental. They've completely stripped me van out. I don't, I'm a bit, I'm checking a bit. I don't know what to, uh, I can't really vlog much here because there's people about, but I'll tell you about it in a bit. Uh, yeah, very strange feeling and we'll see what they're gonna do here. Me bloody van, what you done to it? <laughs> Be pride and joy. Hey up Scott. Hi, you alright mate? I'm fine, yeah. I just thought I'd give you a quick call with an update as to the progress that we're making on your van. Alright mate. So we've had some interesting ideas since we saw you yesterday. Yeah. So we're uh, we're confident that we're gonna be able to produce something that's gonna work for for Helen and your daughter, so we're excited oh. about that. So oh um, I just wanted to uh, just give, give you a quick call because we're about to start cutting holes in the van. So I just want to right. make sure that you're 100% behind the project. Uh, and if you are, I'll give the lads the green light and we'll start cutting some holes. Absolutely, mate. 100%. Yeah, I mean, right. I, I, I really uh, appreciate what you're doing. You know, it's. No worries. Right. It's amazing. So we'll do that then. We'll do that, James, and uh, I'll give you a call again shortly and let you know of the progress that we're making, uh, and I'll speak to you soon. All right, Scott. Thanks a lot, mate. Right. Yeah. Cheers, James. Cheers. See ya. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <sighs> it's weird. I, I just. <laughs> I don't. I hope that. I don't know if I caught that on camera. 
pick my camera up quick. I'm in my dad's car. I've had to borrow my dad's car. Uh, so they're fitting my van out for me because basically I think they felt sorry for me. <laughs> and I had a quick look in their place and their stuff's like really high end. So just like top guy. What a top guy. Uh, yeah. I'm a bit, yeah, it's not often I, I I don't know what to say. So I've just pulled up at my unit actually, and I'm just going to chill here and, uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. So, and I, I don't, it, this has happened just so fast and all out at blue, and uh, I don't know what I said on other bits I filmed. Basically, they just, that's Scott and he owns this company this motor home company and I went and met him yesterday and he's just a top bloke and he said he's seen me back at a van struggling and having no space and that and he thought they could help me out and I've had to trust them because obviously I mean they're a big company and they're obviously they know what they're doing and, and that and I've just let them rip back out at the van out because it couldn't be any worse it, it was bodged and in a way they, they found a load of damp underneath as well where I'd not done the floor properly so that's good that they've seen that because that could turn into mould and yeah I just don't even know what they're going to do but at the end of the day that's what they do motorhomes not like little vans like mine but they're going to be able to do a, a good job and uh, it's like what's that program camper van SOS <laughs> it's mental I can't believe it so what am I going to do if I don't like it <laughs> can you imagine turning up and it's like oh I don't like it anyway so I don't know what else I don't know how long it's going to take I need to try and uh, do some vlogging so I might have to start recording another vlog but uh, yeah absolutely I feel so lucky at what's happened uh, and I'll yeah I'll, I'll keep you updated Cheers. I'm back in England. I'm in cold and wet Rotherham. And yeah, my mum and dad are moving house this week. They've got to be out by end of week. They're moving into Caravan. So obviously they're getting on my mum and dad, so I'm doing all that. I'm gonna hire a van and uh, just doing it in my dad's car at the moment. So yeah, stressful to say the least as moving house is. But I've had a phone call, I've just had a, a call and the van's ready, the van is ready to pick up and I'm just, I can't, I can't get over how excited I am. Uh, unfortunately Scott's not going to be there uh, as he's on holiday at the moment but he said the lads will be able to sort me out when I get there, they'll uh, show me around and everything. So yeah, very exciting, I'm going to get my dad to drop me off in the morning. Right, just saying to Rata, my dad he's dropped me off. I'm very excited about this. Here we are. No idea what to expect. Dan! <laughs> nice to see you, mate. Here How are you? I am yeah, indeed. How are I'm, you? I'm very excited. Mate. I bet you are. Yeah, I'll Good. keep my distance. I've got a bit of Benny Dome cough. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah. Do, please. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. Please. You know, I think it's too much uh, ale. Yeah. And, and, and sunshine. <laughs> yes, that's it. Good. Are you excited? That's it. I'm very excited, yeah. Good. Can't Good. contain myself, Benny to be honest. No. You've been in your mind, is it? Yeah. Absolutely. Come on. Bloody hell, she's clean. Is that the same van? It's not the same van. Chopping hell. <laughs> that is impressive. Now that's all but, just you've just washed it, have you? Well, I see that. Bloody hell, mate. I can't. Wow. It looks like it's been re-sprayed. So it's been, uh, it's been detailed. Is that just a deep clean line? It's just a deep clean, polish, um, and, uh, and obviously a good valet, yeah, a good wash. So let me, uh... I'll, I'll let you show me around. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, here we go. go. Are you sure? Go for it. <laughs> Bloody hell! 
That's like proper, isn't it? <laughs> it's a proper van. I get in. Oh my god! Telly and everything. Oh, mate, I can't. I can't even. Look at this. Look at roof. So I've got two. That is seriously impressive. I'm a bit. I'm a bit shocked to be honest. I'm a bit speechless. I mean, there's some serious work gone into this, aren't there? There's been a lot of thought, a lot of love, a lot of time, a lot of work. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. I really can't believe it. And of course, what you're seeing here is really you're just scratching the surface because there's uh, there's more to this story than, uh, than than kind of meets the eye. Is there? Oh, I absolutely. The way in which your bed works and converts. Well, I'm not thinking it. about bed. Can you? Into what happens then? <clears throat> well. So, so you got a, you have a fridge? Yeah, what's the bloody hell? Obviously this is a 12 volt compressor fridge, so this runs off your leisure battery. Yeah. Um, is that a toilet? Yeah, a toilet. <laughs> for night time use. Yeah. Yeah, there's lo so much planning on it, aren't there, really? We've not, obviously, we've not used it at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> so there's your loop. Um, obviously, you're now having a, a 240 volt electrical connection. Right, okay. Which you know, if you have the uh, if you have the option of being connected to mains electricity, which I understand that you've you've got that option. Yeah, yeah, I saw the, the plug out there. With you've got a little nighttime heater there, which will right. keep you warm on mains electricity. Right, brilliant. Your bed makeup is quite quite simple. Okay. Uh, so you have these little what, what we classify or call pullouts. Yeah. So these extend forward. Yeah. There's a limit on the amount of travel that they'll yeah. that they'll extend. There's new, there's new bedding and so on in there for you. Uh, I didn't expect all like that. No, <laughs> that's just. Uh, these pull, that, <coughs> right, I see. Yeah. Sorry, these pull, these pull forward, and then effectively the base cushion slides out, or indeed you put your small cushion at the front. Table here as well, and that is uh, exactly the dimensions of your. That's what it was before. That's so exactly that's perfect. What it was before, yeah. That is brilliant. Relocated your leisure battery, right? Which we've uh, obviously we've replaced as well. So okay. your leisure battery now is located. Is it under the, under underneath there? You, underneath your passenger seat. Fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, there is a battery charger incorporated into your system, so when you're connected to mains electricity, yeah, that will maintain your leisure battery right at all of the times, and hopefully when the sun shines, you've got an 80 watt solar panel, solar panel on, yeah. on your roof. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Wow. Look at that. Fantastic. Ready to go now, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's fully kitted. There's a range of accessories, yeah. which we've included round on the side. There's a range of accessories, as you've seen, inside your, inside your cupboard. So you've got you know, various different plates and bowls and water carriers and, and all that. Kind I'm going to have some rape. I'm going to go straight on a trip. Are you? I don't know where I'm going to go, but I'm going to go somewhere. Fair play to you. I'm going to be travelling. Absolutely. I mean, that that's is exactly... just so luxurious. Well, it's, you know, it, it, it's from our perspective, it, it, it's functional. Yeah. Um, it, we've, we've sort of tried to get as much in, in your small space as we possibly could. Yeah. That, that allows for you to remain functional within your van without it being too much of a, 
you know. Uh, you know yeah, well, it was it was a nightmare, weren't it? Well, to be honest, well, it I don't, you know, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. want to say so much. Yeah, I know. You know. Um, I like this as well. Little, well, it's a nice it's, little touch, isn't it? Well, again, I mean, it's, it's slightly unorthodox, but what that will allow you to do is get, you know, gain access into your cab. So if you hear any strange noises or yeah. like that, rather than restrict your access completely, you can at least drop your blind and yeah. look inside. You can get airflow through, you know, it has a blind. It, it's, just, it's a fairly standard piece of equipment. Really. Yeah. It can be blacked out at night. Um, you know, if you've got all that you keep in your cab that you need to reach through and grab, and that's yeah, you, you can still do that as well. But it's been really sort of thought through, hasn't it? Really well. So, what did you have like a meeting or something and, and plan it all? What, what best well, thing to do? It, 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 it were all a bit um, on the hoof, shall we? Right, yeah, of course, because this is a break from what we would do normally. Yeah. This, this is very unorthodox in terms of our standards, right build schedule as it were. Yeah. I mean typically we build on Fiat Ducatos yeah. and, uh, and Peugeot boxes. And yeah. we, 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 historically we're known for that as well you see. So, um, so to introduce a variable like this on a small van we, we started to have, well we had to rethink uh, outside of the box, I think. Yeah, it's well within are. our arena. I mean, I weren't expecting things like a bloody fridge and a telly. Well, I mean, and, that, and that's the thing. You've got, you've got, uh, you've got a little mini motor home yeah. in, in a little mini van. You know, you've got yeah. compressor fridge, battery charging facilities, solar panel, toilet. You know, all without compromise. Yeah. To your living space. Um, Super, absolutely that. super. You have light switches here. Well, of course, that's, that will be your main roof lighting, and then there's a little bit of subdued lighting on oh, the right. side, and switches are, um, are accessible from, from your bed position effectively. Okay. You've got USBs over in your far right hand corner, and you have a USB over in your far left corner, and then there's a 240 volt socket uh, on your near side rear pillar, and there's a 240 volt socket there as well. Right. Well, of course, if you're using an extension to your kitchen. You might boil a kettle, for example, yeah. or along the lines there, or a slow cooker, or you know. <laughs> I'm loving the cooker. shelf on the back as well. That's handy, isn't it? Well, that's Just, right. It's, yeah, it, to it, put your phones it, on and it, stuff. That's right. It's nice for you to be able to sort of sit back there and recline, and uh, you've got yeah. somewhere where you can put your phone or your drink. Or yeah, we've we've thoroughly enjoyed ourselves collectively, and and it has been a collective effort. Yeah. You know, obviously there's. Uh, Camping chairs and a camping table in there, so these, oh. these chairs are particularly good. Are they? Yeah, they really are quite Fantastic. Um, That's uh, just amazing. That. Again, I think what we, we all came to the conclusion that perhaps what you wanted in this van was some pockets, some sort of elastic yeah, yeah. or some, some pockets where you could grab some of your glasses or your yeah. mobile phone or wires yeah. or, you know, something like that. And, and similarly, in and around this area here as well, you might want to hang your equipment, hook up the... Right, put some uh, hooks you know, and things Yeah, because that, that was one of the things that I noticed on, on, on the first video that I watched on your channel yeah and i knew you had a particular liking for hanging your keys up there <laughs> yes i did yes but there's no hook up there oh, now, well. so, um, uh, i'll, so, I'll, I'll know, find somewhere, we'll find somewhere. <laughs> And so, of course, oh, this, the storage, well, yeah. well, this compartment here will be taken up by your, by your toilet, for example. Yeah, so yeah. When that's oh, yeah, back. of course. And then, uh, within this area here, you've got, uh, again, you've got camping cooker, um, folding bowls, uh, you've, again, you've got additional equipment, little, little USB water dispenser. All right, yeah. Screws onto your wall, canisters which are yeah. inside. Uh, one of your kitchen cupboards as it were and uh, then you've got a little tap and a little walk so there's your mains distribution so All right. it's coming into that point there and then it's been distributed out through through the rest of your, of your van that's right. a nice little bit of kit What's outside that? shower unbelievable <laughs> 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 I don't know what to say. Uh, I need to just probably look back at footage because I was a little bit uh, in shock when he showed it me. I did not expect anything like this. I'm absolutely blown away. I 
It's like a proper motorhome. I'm going to... Uh, God, I can't honestly. Weird. In a brilliant way. Fantastic. What a nice set of lads they are there. And uh, Dan who showed me around, because unfortunately Scott who owns the business, he's on holiday. So Dan showed me the van. Dan showed me the van. Really, really lovely bloke. And he's a van lifer himself. And he's been doing this for years. So yeah, there's nothing he don't know about van life. Absolutely amazing and what a wonderful gesture from Scott and Consort Motorhomes. I'm going to film some more. I'll, I'll do. I'll get my stuff in the van and do a bit of a better tour when I've sort of recovered. Show you around, and when Scott gets back off holiday, I'll uh, I'll go and meet him or something, just so you can learn about his company. But the the workmanship in the back of my van is just mind blowing. Anyway, I'm driving back down to my mum and dad's now to show them. You all right? I'm back, so I've spent a couple of nights in the van. I've got this terrible cough. I keep trying to record this and then I go into coughing fits. I think loads of people have got it at the moment. I thought it was just too much booze in Benidorm, but anyway, I've had the two best nights sleep in this van. I can't begin to explain how comfortable it's been and how snuggled it's been watching TV in bed, toasty warm, I've not needed any heating on or anything like that, it's been so well insulated. And I'm blown away, I've said that a few times, but I am, I can't get my head around what they've done for me, just, and just purely sort of out of kindness. So it's a massive, massive shout out to Scott at Concert Motorhomes. He's not wanted any publicity out of this or anything, but I've told him I'm gonna mention him. And I want to do something to pay it forward. So I need to think that something, I want to do some sort, I don't know, some sort of charity thing. Just, it's just nice when people do something really kind like that. And, you know, I want to do, as I said, pay it forward. I want to do something for somebody else. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give it some thought over the next few days, what I could do. Uh, Mum and dad are moving house. It is just mental. It's all hands on deck. They're moving into the caravan temporarily before they move into a new house. And I've been storing all furniture at my unit and in another place, like one of these storage first places. And it's just chaos because my sister works full time. My mum and dad are too old to be lifting furniture. So it's just been like me and just getting people to help out every now and then. That's all gonna be done this weekend. And then I'm off on a trip next week for a few days in van somewhere. Don't know where, but I'm really excited about that because it's like a proper van now and I can do like a really comfy, nice, cosy trip. Go and have a look at some villages and towns, cook myself some tea in the back of the van and get back to proper van life. I'm right excited about that. So there's going to be some good videos for you. I know I've sort of neglected the van life a little bit with all the travel and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's going to be back with a bang. And just thank you for, for watching and make sure you, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because that sort of helps with the algorithm and pushes us out to more people. And I really appreciate that. Anyway, I'll see you in a few days in the next video. Don't even know where I'm going, but I'm sure it's going to be awesome. All right, see there.